All right, Atlanta Falcons coming off a loss to Tampa Bay last week, but they covered the spread. And if you subscribe to this channel, you had uh, Atlanta plus six and a half last week. Let's move on. Atlanta is now on the road at Kansas City against Pat Mahomes' lad. And the Chiefs, big line as is per usual with the Chiefs. Falcons at Kansas City. Let's make a pick. All right, so this line actually opened up Kansas City Chiefs minus 12 and a half, which is a little high. And the Sharps came in and they hammered Atlanta at 12 and a half, bumped the line immediately down to 10. And I wish I got in at Chiefs minus 10, but I'm an asshole and I wasn't paying attention and I missed it. And now that's long, long gone. The line is now at 10 and a half. Chiefs minus 10 and a half, and it's been there for several days. All right, the line moved to 10 and a half, and look at the money. Everything's on the Chiefs now. Everyone loves the Chiefs at 10 and a half. Here's the problem. Why is the line not moving? Why hasn't it gone to 11? Why hasn't it gone to 11 and a half? That scares me a little bit. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm really close to just slapping the trap game stamp on this one. But I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just a little sketched out that it hasn't moved, that's all. So how do these two teams match up on the field? Well, actually, these two offensively are very similar. They're both very dependent on the passing game and both very efficient passing the ball, too. The Chiefs are number one ranked passing offense in the league. Falcons are actually number four. So offensively, they actually run a very similar system. But on defense is a completely different story. The Falcons defense can't stop the pass to save their lives. Pretty sure they're like number 29 or number 30 in the league against the pass. The Chiefs, on the other hand, Yo, the Chiefs have an underrated defense. They actually get stops. The Chiefs defense, they're nothing like the Falcons defense. If you take out the two Raiders games, the only quarterback that was able to really put together a good game against the Chiefs was Teddy Bridgewater. The Chiefs made ev all the other quarterbacks throughout the year struggle and uncomfortable. So the Chiefs defense is actually good against the pass. So what is the pick? This is gonna sound kind of crazy, but I would feel more comfortable if the line would move to 11 or 11 and a half. At least show me that it's not a trap. <laughs> but either way, no Julio Jones for Atlanta. I can't bet against Mahomes and the Chiefs in this game. So give me Kansas City minus 10 and a half, lock it in, but I'm worried. 